Hello, we will vendor. This is Ali Nese, and it's time for the next CBL or case-based learning. This is CBL number four. And as real world endo has now switched from the use of endo sequence to the brand new ESX file, filing and instrumentation system, it's probably appropriate to do case number four, case-based learning number four with the ESX uh, filing and instrumentation system. So let's just quickly review the ESX uh, techniques. I have done some other tutorials on the website that you can check out. But the basic ESX technique involves getting the size 1502 uh, hand file down, then the expediter using the SSC technique. And based on your uh, uh, canal size, uh, you use a small, medium, or large um, finishing file, ESX finishing file, which is 25, 35, or 45. So today's tooth is tooth number 20, and you can see there is a necrotic, this is a necrotic tooth with a large peripical lesion. As usual, we use our estimated working length from the radiograph, and here we have a 22 millimeter estimated length. And this tooth shows a, um, a sinus tract, basically, in the gingival area, uh, in the mid root section of the tooth. So we isolate it using a 2AT uh, clamp here, and then using the um, Rewold Endo Access Preparation Kit, I'm using the, uh, a flat diamond to flatten out the cusps because this tooth will require a crown and, and, doing the, uh, and cutting out the uh, flattening the cusps will allow you to have more stable reference points as well as taking the tooth out of bite. Using the saber cut burr, then I have uh, made my outline form and now I'm using a number four round burr at slow speed to uh, remove the decay. There's a little bit of a mushrooming of decay underneath this tooth, underneath that, uh, that filling. After the uh, decay has been removed, now I placed some uh, ultra-dense um, uh, opal dam material and then I um, light cured it. And I'm just now using a number 10 hand file to, uh, to an estimated 20 millimeters to see if I have a patent canal, which is very easily goes down. Now I'm using the expediter put the same length, about 20 millimeters, and the expediter basically just falls into that length of 20 millimeters. So we have a very open canal here. So at this point now I'm comfortable measuring my working length and I'm using the PAL apex locator and I'm getting a 22 millimeter working length. It's also important to confirm your working length always with a radiograph, um, not just to confirm the length and the accuracy of the um, apex located, but also to get information about the, uh, the shape of the root. So here I have put my ESX expediter to 22 millimeters and right off the bat without with minimal uh, resistance uh, it goes all the way down to the full working length and from our protocol if you recall our technique card if you have minimal engagement of the expediter you would be using a uh, size 45 so we go straight to a size 45 from the um, from the 1505 exped uh, expediter and you can see that the 45 right off the bat with the BT tip uh, will go down to the end of the route here to the full working length so what happens when the large is going all the way down to the end well uh, the ESX protocol tells us that uh, if you have a 45 that's loose in the canal then use a 55 ESX file so you basically have the four finishing files and here you can see the 55 goes all the way down and a couple of rotations, it engages quite a bit of biofilm and debris that is left on the canal walls. Uh, so on the second stroke, the 55 also reaches the apex. And you can see that it's now uh, starting to clean up uh, and having contact with the additional walls. And now what I'm doing is I'm doing some circumferential filing to uh, clean the debris off the canals of this tooth because I think a size 55 is adequate here and just a little bit of circumferential filing would be uh, important. And now you can see we're getting a little bit of a cleaner dental chips. And now we're going to move to an irrigation protocol as we have a size 55 shape. Uh, what's next is to uh, finish our disinfection and using ultrasonics uh, along with hypochlorite 
as well as um, uh, a large volume of hypochlorite that I run using the Endovac, which is a negative pressure system. I run about 12 cc of full strength hypochlorite and I uh, also intermittently activate the, uh, the, the hypochlorite using um, my E14 D ultrasonic tip, and I will basically cut out the uh, irrigation here because it's a fairly long process, uh, but it's a very important one. I'd like to emphasize that. But what you can see is that the ESX, with basically a couple of files, two or three files, gave us a 5504 shape that now we are 